hi everyone um, today I want to do Christmas bubbles type of a tutorial and the reason for it being is that um, I am personally kind of starting to get into the Christmassy mood after my son's birthday so like you know middle of November coming closer to end of November I feel like I want to put up the Christmas tree and you know be all festive and all that so um, and also the most viewed videos at the moment are those two that I created Christmas bubbles illustrations from the year before and the year before that and a lot of you have been commenting um, that you really enjoy that and I thought to recreate something similar because um, the sound system wasn't great back in my older videos and just in general have something fresh and I know that a lot of you are getting ready already for Christmas and starting with your card making so this is what I want to do today this is uh, from a while ago and I really like this idea of having like a floral bobble if that makes sense but we're going to turn them around and that's what's going to make them look like they're hanging down so essentially we're going to create circles out of watercolors and then we're going to um, basically uh, doodle it in such a way that we'll have some lovely uh, greenery and kind of will look like a flower bobble and then I will decorate it a little bit for that special um, Christmas effect with a little bit of a gold uni ball uh, gel pen. All right, so let's start. So what we will need is watercolors, obviously a brush and um, a pen that we will doodle in. So I might use something quite fine nipped because I like the look of it. So I think I'm going to use the platinum uh, carbon ink fountain pen which has a uh, waterproof ink in there all right so for the watercolors today i'm using my st petersburg white knights and the reason is because i really like this color palette so these were the colors that i picked here the conacridon red conacridon violet rose and i think i will go with the rose yeah so these three colors and they're right here um i will be using today they're really beautiful very luscious very kind of raspberry type of colors so let's start with that all right to start with this is a very simple tutorial and i hope it's going to be a short one i miss editing short videos they're so much easier to edit um okay so first of all um a lot of you have uh, or actually uh, time to time I get these comments uh, from a lot of you um, asking whether I still use my um, white knights watercolors and the answer is absolutely I do like to use it time to time simply because I mean I don't use it on a daily basis I have so many other watercolors and at this point, you know, when you when you love watercolors and you collect them, it's only quite normal <laughs> to expect um, that you can't use it like all the time. You have other things to use as well. So it's not that I don't like using them anymore. If you don't see them as often in my videos, it's only because, um, you know, there's other watercolors as well as I'm making my own now. So... But yeah, I absolutely love these watercolors. They were the first ones I ever started with. And I'm so happy I started with them rather than some cheap watercolors that really can put you off watercolor for life. <laughs> um, so yes, you do need good, great watercolors uh, to be able to improve with your watercolor skills. So here we go. So I've got three and I think I will leave it at that. I am just creating circular shapes like so. There you go. And this time, what I didn't do last time, I'm leaving a little highlight here and there because I just love this look. And then I'm doing a watercolor thing, which is just dubbing water here and there. And that creates lovely blooms and blossoms. 
and you can see how bright these colors are they look like they're neon there um, it's because of the lighting and and um, it's getting a bit darker now outside they're not neon lights they're just really beautifully pigmented uh, watercolors they're just gorgeous so the first one is um this one is quinacridone hold on a second where's the quinacridone red gone oh okay i didn't use quinacridone red nope i did not okay so what i used was rose then quinacridone rose and quinacridone violet rose so three roses from the range let's see so quinacridone violet rose, rose and quinacridone rose. These three watercolors. This is a beautiful one, quinacridone red. Uh, but I just feel like having three dots rather than any more number three rules. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is make sure these are nice and dry before we move on to the fun doodling step of these little details like so. And it's really fun and easy to do. And you can create a lot of different color variations for your cards. Um, and yeah, just play around and have fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my heat tool. If you don't have one, you can use a hairdryer. And if you don't want to do that, then just wait and give uh, the paper some time to dry naturally. Okay, now to the fun part. So the fun part is, of course, apart from the fun part of the watercolor it's the doodling so what we're going to do first is we're going to line out quite messily I want a nice messy line um, around these bubbles and I'm going to go ahead two or sometimes three times depending what I like I think two times is good in this case and because the watercolor is quite intense and dark, if you go all the way in, you won't even see the black line. So you want the line to come out a little bit, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is just give it a little edge. And I'm just going to doodle a little zigzaggy, fun little line. Just go all the way around like so. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a center like a flower would have. And again, I'm going to create two lines there. And at this point, I think I will do a variation. So here I'm going to do a black kind of oval shape. You can do polka dot if you prefer. Uh, then over here I'm going to do the same thing. See, you can't go wrong here. And you can even change it up a little. Let's change it up and create a different edge. Like so. And again, center and Maybe I'll just do this. Vertical shapes. Like so. And then we're going to create a line over here. And I'm going to do the same little shape as I did on the first one. It's nice and simple and easy. And then again, little center. And I will leave this one blank. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some polka dots. Now this bit, if you want, you can do it. If you don't want, you can leave it out. I kind of feel that it's a little bit more festive with the gold, but it's totally up to you. 
and I will show you a close up. There we go. And then here I'm going to do um so let's see what happens here if I so here I'm going to do like a large polka dot with the gold and a small one around okay so there you go and then I will do one here as well you can change up maybe if you don't want polka dot you want something different you can do that as well totally up to you I personally actually like the black in the middle more so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle these gold polka dots with black and now to make them look finished I'm just going to take my fountain pen and draw a line towards the top of the page then I'm going to create a little triangle like so to connect them and I am going to now draw these leaves different shapes because it looks better so then the detailing comes in and I'm going to do again double line here double line there and then a line running in the middle of the leaf and then we're going to move here and do the same thing and here I'm going to do uh, two leaves on one side like that and that gives you a nice variation and the double line and the double line here as well and one running in the middle there we go and then we have the other one so try to instead of going over the leaf try to make it go underneath so that it looks nice and layered and here it's up to you so there's little space on this side so you might decide you don't want to add anything there and instead maybe you want to have two leaves like so just on one side as a little variation the more variation you bring into this the better it looks I find and then the little triangle now at this point you can pronounce them ready and finished but if you want to still go ahead and do a bit of doodling then you can really do that so for instance I kind of feel like I want a bit more detail here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my book and I'm going to add a bit more detail all the way around like so and this scalloped edge becomes a little bit more scribbly and a little bit more defined like that you just keep on going and then in the middle I would just add these little lines just to make it look like lacy trimming think of as many different options 
for doodling as you can for the uh, trim of this flower bubble and you can get a lot of different things here so there you go um what else shall we do i feel like these centers they need a little bit more attention so i'm going to create the same edging to the middle of it to the center because the watercolors are very dark it kind of needs more bringing out of it more definition otherwise if you pick a color palette that is quite pastel or pale then don't worry about it you won't need to do that i don't think here are our Christmas bubbles and they look super fun and like I said if you <laughs> wanted to use these throughout the year then you can just uh, draw them this way and then you have lovely flowers and then you turn them this way and you have lovely bubbles. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.